Hey, Matt here with Mage, and I'm back with another video in our weekly tips and tricks series. This is the series where I talk about the latest and greatest in Mage, um, things that you can do to take your uh, data transformation skills to the next level, um, make the best of your pipelines. Uh, and today I'm talking about API triggers in Mage. So as I'm sure you're all familiar, uh, there are a number of ways you can run an ETL workflow. I think the most common is to schedule that workflow, that is have it run at the same time um, every day. But a few other methods of, of running a, a, a workflow might be event-based. Um, so something happens and then your workflow is triggered. So like using a CloudWatch uh, uh, event in AWS, which is supported by Mage um, or some other event or triggering a pipeline via an API. And that means that the request can kind of come from anywhere, right? You, any system can send an API request, uh, whether that's Python requests, a curl uh, command. Um, and that enables a lot of flexibility in how your pipelines are run. Uh, because you can have external systems that finish maybe upstream of your data jobs, maybe completely uh, tangential to your data jobs. Um, and those can kick off ETL pipelines. Better yet, in Mage, you can actually supply runtime parameters via API requests. So if you wanted to run a pipeline um, with, say, a set of custom variables uh, that then would be injected into um, your ETL solution, that's very possible. And so today I'm going to show you how to do that. So I have a very simple pipeline here. Um, this pipeline is going to read a CSV. Um, it's going to uh, perform some light transformation on that, uh, and then it's going to export it to a, uh, a local file. Um, this is just our demo pipeline. But if we go to the triggers page for this pipeline and uh, create a new trigger, you see we have our schedule, an event, or uh, an API call. So we're going to create a new API call for the pipeline. Um, we're provided with an endpoint to make a post request to, um, and even a sample payload uh, that, that we can provide here that would give us a few different variables for the pipeline. Um, and so uh, we even have a sample curl command. So I also highly recommend the website curl converter if you want to convert curl commands to requests for Python. Uh, it's pretty handy uh, for those of you that, that use Python. So I'm going to save my changes here. And now we have an inactive uh, inactive trigger, um, we'll enable that, uh, the trigger is active. Um, and then I have a, a very simple um, Jupyter notebook here with uh, basically just the converted request. Um, so we're gonna import the library, uh, read the headers. Um, oh, I gotta change the, so I use a different port for my mage development instance, five, six, seven, eight, um, just for development purposes. But running that, you see we get a pipeline run. If I in back over here, we have our pipelines running. Um, it was triggered exactly when we wanted it to, and our pipeline should complete as expected. So yeah, super simple, um, very easy, and pretty flexible. Allows you to do a lot of different things in Mage. That's API triggers in Mage. I'm Matt, and I'll see you next time. Peace.